God bless you all our viewers all over the world. This is the Prophetic Hour, a program where God himself will begin to work wonders and miracles even in your lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. You are not watching us by accident but by divine appointment. And we know that this God will begin to do great and mighty works even in your lives in the name of Jesus. We welcome you. This is the Prophetic Hour, a program that you receive words that will encourage your soul and lift up your spirit. Encourage your soul and lift up your spirit. We thank God for all our viewers, for your prayers, for your support, for your endurance, for supporting, for everything you've been doing. God will continue to bless, increase, and prosper you. We do appreciate everything you're doing, and God will bless you. And we want you to continue supporting us by sharing this Facebook page. Share it on your Facebook page and God will begin to bless you in the name of Jesus. My name is Chris, Pastor Chris of Body of Christ Center, which I pastor with my wife, Pastor Funke. And it's a church where Christ himself reigns supreme and lives are touched and changed and transformed. And you know what? You watching this program is not by accident, it's by divine appointment because God himself wants to work great miracles even in your lives in the name of Jesus. So we welcome you once again. If you are a first time viewer, you are welcome in Jesus name. Do us a favor, share this on all your Facebook links and pages. I know what God will begin to work wonders and miracles. Even if you are in groups, share it all the groups you have. I know what, share it and let people be blessed as they watch it. The prophetic hour where God speaks to us, where we hear the word of God and we hear prophecies from the throne of God and God transforms lives and also leaves us with great testimony so you are now watching by action by divine appointment shall we pray father we thank you we bless you we give all the praise, glory, honor, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. And shall die, we call upon you. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the grace to be here again. Gather together, even before you. Your word says, where two or three are gathered together in your name, you will be in their midst. Thank you, Lord, for being in our midst. Thank you, Lord, for taking control. Thank you, Lord, for proving yourself. Thank you, Lord, for touching us like never before. Thank you, Lord, Father, for glorifying yourself even in our lives. I accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, we come before you this moment. Gather with us and work wonders. Mighty Father, let your spirit flow amongst us. Let your name be glorified. Touch every soul. Soul. Every soul that is thirsty, Lord, satisfy. Every soul that hungers, Lord, satisfy. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be. We come against the works of the enemy. We destroy it in the air, sky, moon, sea, and the water. We bind them. We cast it to hell in the name of Jesus. Lord, we declare and decree. Let your name be glorified. We cover the gadgets, the airwaves, our devices with the blood of Jesus. Have your will, Lord, and let your name be glorified. Thank you, Lord. We bless you in Jesus' precious and wonderful name. We pray once again. We welcome you to this program. The prophetic hour, another edition of prophetic hour, where God Himself will begin to work wonders and miracles even in your lives and destinies. And that's our website. If you want to know more about us, about myself or Pastor Funke or the church, that's on the website. You can go there. You can also contact us on our website and God will begin to bless Him and work wonders and miracles even in your lives and destinies in the name of you. Once again, welcome for those who are sharing currently. God will bless you. Once you share, just type shared. Once you share, just type shared. I know what God will share great blessings even to your lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. That's why, you know what, you are now watching by accident but by divine appointment. And this is a moment to arise and shine and begin to arise and shine. Welcome on board. Those who are watching us from Nigeria, from America, God will bless you. Even from Canada, God will bless you. We appreciate from Europe, from Italy, from, from Germany. We can say thank you very much for watching. From Africa, from Nigeria, from Ghana, welcome every viewer. God will bless you. Work wonders and miracles even in your lives. We appreciate you. Thanks for your prayers. Thanks for your support. And God will begin to bless and work wonders and miracles even in your lives in jail. This prophetic hour airs every it airs every Tuesday, GMT time every Tuesday. It airs every Tuesday at 7 p.m. That is UK time. Nine, um, sorry, 9 p.m. Every Tuesday at 9 p.m. UK time. So put the reminder on your phones and God will bless you and work on it. And thank you all who have been, all those who have been inboxing us, sending us messages, we, messages of encouragement. We, we thank God for your life and God Himself is going to bless, increase, and prosper you in the name of God. Welcome aboard everyone to this prophetic hour where God and we are continuing our our series, the prophetic instruction series. The prophetic instruction series. And, and many a time as you go along, God speaks to us. And when God speaks to us, your first reaction, if it is you, is that I receive it. You type it out. I receive. I receive it. I receive it. And then a prophetic instruction or something you need to do or note will be set after and just 
is claim it and receiving it also by typing out. You know, God will begin to work wonders and miracles even in your lives and destinies in the name of Jesus. So we are to continue this topic. Sorry, we are continuing our series, the prophetic instruction series. We are going to, so going to work wonders and miracles even in your lives in Jesus' name. We are continuing a new topic and we thank God for His goodness and mercy. And we want you to open your Bibles. If you have your Bibles, I believe you have your Bibles. We want to open your Bibles. By the grace of open your Bibles, the God we are serving is a mighty God. And this same God will begin to work wonders and miracles even in your lives in the name of Jesus. I want you to open your Bibles to the book of Second Kings. The book of Second Kings. Second Kings chapter 6, 1 to 7. 2 Kings chapter 6, 1 to 7. 2 Kings chapter 6, 1 to 7. But today, I'll just read verses 1 and 2. 2 Kings chapter 6, 1 to 7. It's, uh, it's going to be uh, what we're going to talk about. But for today's message, we're going to just read verses 1 and 2. And verses 1 and 2 says, verse 1 and 2 says, just one minute, verse 1 and 2 says, the company, that's 2 Kings chapter 6, 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 1. The company of the prophets said to Elisha, Look, the place where we meet with you is too small for us. Let us go to the Jordan, where each of us can get a pole, and let us build a place there for us to meet. And he said, Go. And he said, Go. And he said, go. And he said, go. Today, we are starting a new topic in our prophetic hour series, prophetic instruction series, which says total recovery. Total recovery. Total recovery. Say it to yourself. Total recovery. When we say total recovery, you may be wondering, see, as this year is coming to an end, you may be wondering that maybe you are taking a stock of your life. And you begin to recount things that maybe you have lost. Opportunities that maybe just one way or the other, you are not able to, to maximize that opportunity. Do not lose hope. I said, do not do so because you will recover everything before the end of this year. I know the year is running to an end, yes. But you know what? Before this year ends, before 2018 ends, you will recover all. Tell yourself, I will recover all. Say, I will recover all. The Bible says in the book of Joel, chapter 2, 25 to 26. Joel, chapter 2, 25 to 26. It says, I will restore to you the years the swarming locust has eaten. The hopper the hopper, the destroyer, and the cutter, my great army, which I sent among you, you shall eat in plenty. That's after total recovery. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. The word of God says, and praise the name of the Lord your God, who has done, who has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be put to shame. I declare, you shall never be put to shame. I declare once again, you shall never be put to shame. Hallelujah! This is your season, your moment, your hour for a great breakthrough, and God is going to work wonders and miracles even in your life. Total recovery. You will recover all. I say you will recover all. Regarding your husband, regarding your wife, regarding your children, regarding your job, regarding your future, regarding everything concerning you, you would recover all. The Lord will give you strength and you will eat in plenty. You will move forward. You will make progress. You will increase. You will prosper. You will flourish. By the power in the blood of Jesus, you will flourish. What are you talking about? Total recovery. Because you know what? As this year is going to end, many people are wondering, Lord, when will my moment come? You begin to recount from January, February, March, April, May, until November. You begin to recount, Lord, when will my time go? When will that recover? Oh, I have spent so much. I have lost so much. And I have nothing to show for it. I have come to tell you this evening, you, this moment, you would recover all. No matter what the enemy may have done, you will recover all. The years, the canker one, the locust one, the permanent one has eaten. God says you would recover all. He will restore to you by his power. Total recovery. Total recovery. Type again, I will recover all. I will recover all. I will recover all. This God we are serving is a mighty God. There's somebody, what God is telling me, you are always full of fear. 
always full of fear. Sometimes you are afraid. If you go out, am I going to come in? And my husband, my wife, everything around you is full of fear. If you should just say, I receive. Why? Because God wants to work wonders. If you should just say, I receive, you are always full of fear. Even when this year is going to an end, you are even still full of fear. You are wondering that, Lord, you are doubting. Sometimes you cry out of nothing. Just fear. The devil speaks to you and that fear comes in and you begin to fear. You are fear. You are afraid. You are full of fear regarding your marriage, regarding your children, regarding even yourself, regarding your work. It's all full of fear, fear, fear. Today, I cast it out in the name of Jesus. Today, I cast it out in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that do not fear. That's what the word of God says. They say, do not fear for every day of the year. 366, even one for a leap year. 366, do not fear in the Bible. That's why every time you wake up in the morning, tell yourself, do not fear. Do not fear. Do not fear. Today, I cast out the spirit of fear. Write out, write type out, I cast out the spirit of fear. I cast out the spirit of fear. I cast out the spirit of fear. And as you begin to type it out, and you know what? The spirit of fear will leave you. No more fear. Because fear is not your portion. That is not the plan of God for your life. And once again, I cast out every spirit of fear from your destiny, from your life, from your future from everything concerning you I cast out that spirit of fear and God begin to walk wonders total recovery total recovery I declare you would recover all whether the enemy likes it or not you will recover all now from the Bible that we read that was the way we read we have some points we want to talk about I want to bring up again where we read the Bible that we read the book of 2nd Kings so we can see what you're talking about 2nd Kings chapter 6 verse 1 2nd Kings chapter 6 verse 1 and it says the company of the prophets said to Elisha look the place where we meet with you is too small for us the place where we meet with you is too small for us the place where we meet with you prophet Elisha is too small for us so what are we going to do talking about total recovery what are we going to do man of God the place where we are the, the, the place where we meet with you is too small for us now point one how what are the steps or what are the ways that can recover all what are the things that you and i must must do must observe must know so that, that will lead us to the path of total recovery i declare once again you will recover all in the name of jesus i say once again you just thank you lord there's somebody most of the time when you sleep, you are always in a battle, you are always fighting. If it's not an animal, it's a masquerade. If not a masquerade, it's a demon. If it's not a demon, it's something ugly. Sometimes they even violate you in sleep. They will chase you, run, 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 run. God wants to deliver you. If you just say, I receive it. If you just say, I receive it. If you just say, I receive it. Now, this is what you need to do. Because God wants to deliver you totally from the stronghold of the enemy. They will say, we are not ignorant of the devices of the devil. Now, this is what you do. Just for one day fast, just for one day fast and pray and tell God that Lord, all those who are chasing me, those powers stronger than me, deliver me from them all. And God himself will deliver you from them all. Just say, Lord, deliver me from them all. And read Psalm 121. Deliver me, O Lord, from them all. And before you break, read Psalm 43. So you start with Psalm 121, pray the plan to the one, and then when you finish, read Psalm 43. God will bring turn wonders, turn your life around for a miracle. No more demonic dream, no more satanic dream. Because you know what? As you are going to the new year, God wants you to go afresh, renewed, with new and great things that will take place even in your lives in the name of Jesus. Remember, this is prophetic hour. We are prophetic words come, prophetic words come out. And you need to receive your own. And so receive, you know what? There will be a turnaround for you in the name of Jesus. Because this God we are serving is a mighty God. Your moment, your season, your hour has come. God is showing me something. And it's, it's, it's this is like the first time, it's strange. There's someone wearing blue. I don't know if it's a man or a woman, but you are wearing blue. You are wearing blue. As you're watching us now, you are wearing blue. If you should just say, I receive it. Listen to me. You are putting on blue. Touch of blue or, or, or blue, blue, whatever. There's blue in what you are wearing. There's blue, there's color blue in what you are wearing. And God is telling him to tell that person, to tell that person that February 2019, there's something unique he's going to do in your life. There's something that person has been waiting for for quite a while. And God said, in February 2019, there's something unique that God says is going to do for you. 
That person is wearing blue. God is not telling me if it's a man or a woman, but you have a touch of blue in what you are wearing. And God is telling me, if it's you just say, I receive it. Say, I receive it. And God says, February 2019 is going to do something unique, something great. Something you have been waiting for is going to do it for you in February 2019. If it's you, say, praise the Lord. Just type, praise the Lord, because he has done it. So, be, be expectant. Look ahead, because February 2019 is your season. You have, you have a touch of blue. I'm going to, to work on that. Father, we thank you. Work your wonders. Now, total recovery. What's the first thing that we can note in this total recovery thing that happened? That is your company. The Bible says that the company of prophets, you know, the company you keep determines how far you go in life. The company you keep determines if you recover or the company you keep, the people you move with. Wow, the people you associate yourself with it will determine how successful you will be in life. For example, the Bible says that David was in a cave and men that were discontented, men that were discomfited, men that had no, that were in debt, men that had no future. 400, 400, of, 400 of them gathered with, with David and they were in a cave with David and then after a while, they actually gathered with them, which means that they were by six hundred. They gathered with David. They were men of no repute at all. But because they kept the company of David, this man became David's mighty man. They became David's mighty man. And many of them could fight. There was one that could fight. The person he stood and he had a sword inside and he, and he slayed 800 men on the stand. That's what they're talking about. Why? And these men were men of, of no repute, men of um, who are in debt, who are discomfited. But you know what? Because of the company they kept, because they kept company with David, the company you keep determines how far you go in life, determines your destiny. That's why you see, uh, this year is going to an end. Evaluate your company. Evaluate those you are moving with. Evaluate your friends. Check out your friends. Many youth of nowadays, they are moving with the wrong company. And that's why they are, they are making all the mistakes they are Make it. Why? Because of the friends they keep. The friend, they say that do not be deceived. Bad company ruins good morals. Your company, that's the, the company of the prophets in Second Kings chapter six verse one. The company of the prophets. These people were company of prophets, and they were moving with Elisha. And God anointed was greatly upon them. Why? Because they were moving with the company of the prophets. That is Elisha. What company are you moving with? Who are your friends? Show me your friends. And I'll tell you the type of person you are. The friends you keep. You have been keeping bad friends. This is time for you to evaluate and sit down and, and, and think about your life. And those friends that are not influencing you in a positive way, cut them off. The Bible says that if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. Talking about your company, your company, your company matters. Your company matters. If you after this program, if you sit down, you begin to note that where you are today, if it's a good place, it's your company. Where you are today, also, if it's a bad place, it's a company you are keeping. Evaluate your company. Check your company. And if you need to change, change so that you can move forward and make progress and things can begin to turn around. Talking about total recovery. If you want to recover all, your company also matters. The company you keep, the people you move with, the people you associate with, the people you call your friends. The first person you call when you are in a challenge tells us who you are, the type of person you are. I'm sorry to say this. You cannot be a single lady. Who has not married yet? And you can you are telling me your best friend. I'm sorry to say, I'm not putting off anybody. Your best friend is a divorced woman who has children for two or three men, and that's your best friend. Now tell me what advice would such a person give to you? Your company, your company determines a lot. Your company, the company you keep, determines a lot. Brethren out there, reevaluate your company, the company you keep, and make changes. Make the necessary changes. I pray the Lord will help you and uphold you and give you direction. So you can keep the right company so you can recover all. Even before the end of this year, you will be able to recover all when you change your company. The company you keep determines, I will say that, the company you keep determines how far, how high you go in life. The company you keep determines what you achieve. In life. I have testimonies of people keeping good company, but you see, I don't want to dwell on that. Just know that the company you keep matters. Number two thing that matters on the way, on the path to total recovery, on the path to total recovery is that the power of looking. 
the power of looking. You see, the Bible says that these people, the prophets, who were in that company, they all had one mind. They were looking, and they now looked and saw that the place that they were was too small. Now, when you look around you, you're looking around you to speak to you. When you look around you for total recovery, the things around you should speak to you. The house you live should speak to you. Your husband should speak to you. Your wife, when you look, should speak to you. Your children should speak to you. The power of looking. <coughs> Excuse me. The Bible says, after Lot had left Abraham, God told Abraham, raise up your face, raise up your eyes, and look to the north, to the south, to the west, to the east, as far as your eyes can see, I will give you to possess and your descent. As far, the power of looking is very important. Because if you don't have the power of looking, how would you know what has been lost in your life? How would you know what is missing in your destiny? How would you know that there are some things that you need to recover? How would you know that there's a missing link in your life? How would you know? How would you know? How would you realize that there's something wrong in your life? The power of looking. They saw. What did they see? Because they looked. The Bible said that they said, Look, they, I'm reading 2 Kings chapter 6, verse 1. Said, the company of the prophet said to Elisha, Look, the power of looking. Look, they looked, they beheld. What can you see? What are you looking at? What can you see? The power of looking is very important. That's why we need to pray that, Lord, open down my eyes. Open my spiritual eyes. Open my physical eyes. When God begins to open your eyes, you know, you begin to see things. The power of looking. The power of looking. The power of looking. The power of looking. Thank you, Jesus. There's somebody, please, on this one, don't say I receive because we want to... Because what God is showing me is something that is like an embarrassing thing, but but God wants to God wants to deliver that individual. Now there's somebody God not tell me if it's a man or woman, but you're an adult and you still wet the bed. You still wet the bed. I said that very clearly. You still wet the bed, and this has been embarrassing you. You are afraid to go to friends' house to stay or somebody's house to stay because you still bed wet. Now this is what you need to do. Don't be embarrassed. <clears throat> don't don't tap anything. But if you want, you can, but don't type anything. This, don't type, because I don't want to embarrass or, st or stigmatize or, 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 or whatever. Now, listen to me. This is what you do. Even though you've told yourself that before you go to bed, I am not taking water. Now, before you go to bed, this is what you do. Get a glass of water. It may be small. Call Jesus in it seven times and take it before you go to bed. Do that for seven nights. Do that for seven nights. Get a glass of water. Call Jesus seven times and drink that glass of water. For seven nights, do it, uh, each night you have a separate glass of water and you do it. You know what God says is going to deliver you. He's going to, he's going, it's a demonic attack and God says it's going to deliver you from that demonic attack that no longer would you be wet, bedwetting, but you will sleep and you wake up dry. Father, we thank you. That is what God can do. He can touch, he can heal, he can deliver. This is your moment. The power of looking. The power of looking. What can you see as you look? Look around you. What can you see? Now, let me ask you. Looking around you, what can you see? Type me what, type what you can see. What can you see? Is it favor? Is it greatness? Is it success? Is it breakthrough? Type what you can see. I know you are looking. Because, because if you cannot see it, what do you know? What, how do you know? Or how do you know what is lost to recover all? Total, we're talking about total recovery, the power of looking. What can you see? Type, I can see people typing out what they can see. Some see greatness, some see success, some see prosperity, some see breakthrough, some see, yeah, the enemies falling. Now, type what you can see, the power of looking. I said, look, the place where we meet with you is too small for us. They were able to realize. Because they can manage, they can say as well that even though they are looking and seeing, they can say, man of God, uh, you know what? Let's be having two, three services. Instead of looking for a, for, for, for a bigger place for recovery, then let's have two services. Man of God, you know we're a lot and we're expanding. And that's what is expansion. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There's somebody, is, you are a man of God, you are a pastor. You are a pastor. And your church is not increasing. That's what God said. There's no expansion. And you've prayed, you fasted. God says, um, if it's you, say I receive. Now listen to me, man or woman of God. Listen to me. This is what you do. Get a seed. Put on the envelope, seed of expansion. And give your father the Lord seed of expansion and bless your father in law and let him pray for you or your mother-in-law let her pray for you 
your spiritual father, spiritual mother, let them pray for you. Just put that seed in their hands and say, man of God, woman of God, my father, pray for me, mother, pray for me, and there will be a turnaround. Expansion will come. Thank you, Lord. If you say receive it and do that, I know there will be a turnaround. The prophetic hour, where prophetic word comes out, is a program where words that will encourage your soul will be high, you hear, and also that will lift up your spirit. And I believe that many of you are lifted up spiritually. Thank God for that. We bless his holy name. Now, the power of looking. Now, they could have told Elisha, man of God, okay, let's split the class into three. Now, first set will come X time, second set will come X time, third set will come X time. But they looked beyond that. You know, you know, when you say looking, looking, you, you can look, you can, somebody can see a rose. A rose has a stem, has a thorn, and has the petals, a rose, where well, the beautiful one, the red one, beautiful one. Now, somebody can look at it and say, ah, ah, this stem is dry. They will not see the rose. They will say, ah, ah, look at this thorn. Thorn. This one will, this one will prick a finger or a hand. If you hold it, if you grabs it suddenly and without looking. Somebody may look at it and say that this pet, that this rose is so red, so beautiful. So the power of looking matters. That's why you know what? I pray that the Lord will open your eyes and you'll be able to see. And then number three, talking about the way to total recovery. The path to total recovery. I declare you would recover all. Tell yourself again, tap it out, I will recover all. Say it again, I would recover all. Say it again, I will recover all. And you shall recover all in the name of Jesus. Because the God of is the man of God. The third one, the meeting place. The meeting place. All this happened because there's a meeting place. Where is your meeting place? And I speak into two. Your meeting place with God. Your own personal meeting place. Where do you meet with God? How regular do you meet with God? Because in that meeting place, in that meeting point where you meet with God, where you, I'm talking about your own private prayers. How often do you meet with God? The meeting place. The Bible says that they said in 2 Kings chapter 6 verse 1, the company of the prophet said to Elisha, Look! The place, the meeting place, where we meet with you. So there's a meeting point, meeting place. They were meeting with Elisha, and I guess that it was a school of prophets where he was instilling in them, imparting in them, training them how to become how to hear clearly. Now, where is your own meeting place? As I said, we'll be in two. Meeting place. Do you meet God regularly, or do you only pray to God when you have an emergency? 999 emergency, or 911 emergency, or 112 emergency, whatever emergency number you are, you have in your country. You don't dial it except as an emergency, and God forbid you don't dial it in them. You don't need to dial it in the name of Jesus. What am I saying? That the meeting place, how often do you meet with God? As a child of God, you say, pray regularly. Be constant in prayers. You must find time to pray to God when you wake up. And before you go to bed also, you must pray to God. You must find time. You must never become too busy because in the meeting point, that's where you have your power. In the meeting point, that's where you have ideas. In the meeting point, that's where you have solutions. In the meeting point with God, you and God, say, when you pray, not if you pray, when you pray, Go into your room and lock the windows and lock the doors and pray to God in secret. And your father who sees you in secret will what? Reward you. So there's a time we must pray in secret. I want private prayer. Wherever you pray. And then number two, your meeting place, your church. I hope you are a member of a church. Now let me tell you something. This program is not your church. It's just a supplement to your church going. So you need a meeting place. Because if people had a meeting place, all these prophets had their own house. They had where they stay, with their wives, with their children. With How do we know? Because, you know, there was one, a widow that came, that I believe was one of the sons of the prophets of Elisha. And said, you know, my husband is dead. And he was a good man. So I believe it was. So we can see that many of the prophets, if not all of the prophets, were married. They had their own house. But they came to a meeting place. They did not meet in their house. They did not sit down with their family. They went to Elisha, to the meeting place. You must fellowship with the household of Christ. Let me tell you something. No church is perfect. Check the, check the book of Revelation, chapter chapter 2 and 3, talks about the churches, the ancient churches. No church is perfect. Even the church that wasn't, that, that, that there wasn't any negative about, they told them, increase your power, increase yourself, inc increase your zeal. So, there's no perfect church. If you're looking for a perfect church, then I'm sorry, you have to sleep in the Lord and go to heaven. That's when you can get a perfect church. But here on planet Earth, you cannot get a power. That's no excuse for you not to go to a meeting. But the Bible says, not 
forsaken the, the, the garden of the saints, which is the habit of some. Not forsaken, that is, we must gather together. The Bible says in Acts that in the, in the first day of the week, they gather together. So, we must gather together. The meeting place, because the Bible says, iron sharpens iron. When you go to a meeting place and you pray together, corporate anointing, corporate prayer, you know what? Works, wonders, and miracles. The meeting place. Where do you meet? I admonish you today, and I plead with you, and I beg, if you don't have a church you go to, begin to go to a church. If maybe you are annoyed or somebody has offended you, you don't go to that church because of that person. You went because of Christ. Christ is the one that died for you. Your pastor did not die for you. Your friend did not die for you. Your, your, your colleague did not die for you. That's why you cannot leave a church because of your friend or your pastor or anybody. You need to stick to a church and be in a church and grow in a church. Just, I will give you shepherds after my heart who will teach you my way. That is the word of God. The meeting place. If you want to get to the path of recovery, total recovery, then you need to have a meeting place where you meet with the Lord. I pray that God will open our eyes and give us more understanding regarding this in the name of you because you need a meeting place where you meet with the Lord. This moment we stop here. Total recovery. And I pray you will recover all in the name of Jesus. Even as this year is coming to an end, you will recover all in the name of Jesus. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you. We bless you. We give you all the praise, glory, honor. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the first. And your word has been heard, Lord. Send forth your word, Lord. You have been sent out, Lord. Touch, deliver, and set free. Mighty Father, we declare and decree. I pray for all our viewers. Those who have lost one to another, Mighty Father, I declare total recovery. Total recovery. Begin to walk in wonders, prove yourself, and let your name be glorified. I declare peace, peace. God is telling me there's a marriage that is shaking. I declare the peace of God over that marriage. I declare the peace of God over that marriage. I declare the peace of God over that union. That evil hand that wants to separate you, I declare wither away by fire. Receive peace. The peace of God that surpasses every Sunday shall be your portion. Peace, love, and harmony. Begin to live in peace, love, and harmony. Thank you, Lord. We bless you. We give you all the praise, glory, honor. In Jesus' precious and wonderful name we pray. This is your season. God has done great things in your life. Total recovery. Total recovery. And you would recover all. I declare you will recover all. There are seven people who are watching and God is telling me that the garment of shame has been removed. If it's you, just say it has been removed. Seven people, I see. Seven of you. I hear, I see it clearly. Seven of you, the garment of shame has just been removed off your life. If it is you, just type, it is removed. It is removed. It is removed. And God begin to work on that. If you are here, if you are watching us, you are not giving your life to Christ, that is very important. You need to give your life to Christ. Very simple. If you want to give your life, just say this simple prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come before you. I know I'm a sinner and I cannot save myself. I accept you today as my Lord and Savior. Come into my heart and forgive me of all my sins. Cleanse me with your blood. I am sorry for all my sins. Lord Jesus, give me your Holy Spirit to empower me. I accept you once again as my Lord and Savior. Save me from the devil and transform my life. Live in me and live in my heart. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious and wonderful name we pray. If I just said this prayer, you know what? Look for a Bible living church to go to. You know, it's very important for us to be going to a church. As I said before, the meeting place, <coughs> look for a Bible living church. Tell the pastor there that I've just given my life to Christ. I'm now born again and I want you to nurture me in the ways of Christ. And also read your Bible every day. Pray every day. Communicate with God. And God will begin to communicate with you and do great works and mighty works even in your lives and destinies in the name of God. And don't forget we are, uh, we, sh we, sh we stream, we live stream this prophetic hour every Tuesday at 9 p.m. UK time. Every Tuesday at 9 p.m. You know, God will begin to work wonders and miracles even in your lives. In the and we appreciate all our viewers who have been watching us, those who have been supporting this program. God is going to bless you. If you want to know more about Pastor Nokia and myself, that's our website on the screen. If you want to know more, that's our website on the screen. You can go there. Tell you much more about the church and we are inviting if you are living in London we are also inviting you to our church you can get the address on the website I will put it on very soon and get the address on the website you can everything you need our programs right towards the end of this year we have programs coming up be a part of it and God will begin to bless you and work wonders and miracles even in your lives that's our address on the screen right now you know we are right there you are living in London come Sundays 10am Friday Wednesday 7pm for Sunday 
and Fridays, 7 p.m. Make sure you make it a day and God is going to bless you and work wonders. For those who have been tuning in, God will bless you. I do appreciate you all. All everyone who has been watching, who have been supporting, God will bless you, increase you, and prosper you. This is your moment to shine. And you know, you shall begin to shine. We appreciate your support, your messages. You can inbox us. Before I go, let me tell you in ways by which you can you can message us and get us. There are some ways by which you can get us, and these are the ways by which you can get us on the screen right now. You can you can communicate with us and get us through our Facebook page, Body of Christ Center. Body of Christ Christian Center. You can get us through that Facebook page and you can inbox us. We always prepare those who inbox us. You can email us, pschris at Body of Christ Center. And then you can come to church, as I said earlier, to the Fort Radgar Road. Or you can go to our website, tells you all information you need to know about us. And God will begin to bless, increase, and prosper you in the world. This is your moment to arise and shine. And you begin to arise and shine. God will begin to work wonders and miracles even in your lives. Begin to arise and shall we appreciate you all. Thanks for watching. God will bless you. God will increase you. You will recover all and there will be miracles even in your lives in the name of Jesus. Once again, big thanks and God bless you. Have a nice evening. God, have a nice day, night. It depends on where you're watching us for. Have a nice moment and God will bless you, increase and prosper you in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.